my name is Jennifer Lond, and today we're going to talk about the scope and sequence for a BJU Press Homeschool. What is it? How do you use it? That's what we're going to talk about today. First of all, to get your own copy, go to bjupresshomeschool.com. Click on the three lines at the top of the page, then type in scope and sequence in the search bar. Here we go. You can order a copy to be mailed to you for free, or you can scroll down to this link and view the PDF version online. Now that you know how to get a copy, what is it for? Basically, it's going to tell you what's in the curriculum at each grade level. There are three main reasons that you will want to use the scope and sequence. Placement, planning, and portfolio. Let's take a look at the 2023 copy together. The scope and sequence is organized by grade. First in the list is preschool, and you can see that heading on the first page here. Then you'll see every course offered at that level. I also want you to notice this color key. It's the same one that is used in the BJU Press Homeschool catalog. The blue with the play button represents our online courses. Orange with a disc is for DVD courses. And purple with a book is for our textbook kits, where you do the teaching yourself. You'll see that these preschool courses only have the purple tab, which means that they are only offered as parent-led kits. But if I turn the page, you'll see that our kindergarten curriculum, Focus on Fives, is offered in all three formats. Focus on Fives is a little different because it combines several subject areas in the same teacher's editions. You'll see many skills listed pre-reading and early reading skills, phonics and word perception, composition, handwriting, art, motor skills, and music. Down here, you'll see heritage studies and science topics that are covered in the same book. Reading is also part of the Focus on Fives course. Here are pictures of some of the student books. Why do you need to use a scope and sequence? First, let's talk about placement. The scope and sequence is like a glorified table of contents for each course. This is especially helpful if you're coming from another curriculum. Let's take a look at Math 2. Second grade is the first time multiplication is listed. The first few skills listed are repeated addition, array, number line, equations. Let's turn to Math 3. You'll see some of the same concepts. Repeated addition, array, number line, equation, but now you see a few more concepts like multiples and 110 basic facts. What was introduced in Math 2 is now expanded and developed more in Math 3. BJU Press Homeschool is a spiral curriculum. Students step up as they go around like a spiral staircase, always expanding and increasing their understanding. Look at the difference between Math 2 and Math 4. Just because the course lists some of the same skills, doesn't mean that nothing new will be taught. Seeing where you've been and where you're going is one of the advantages of being a homeschool teacher. Every level, every skill prepares you for the next step. Another good example is Fundamentals of Math in seventh grade. It nails down many of the skills from elementary school and then prepares students for algebra and geometry. The intro to logic and set theory really prepares students for reasoning and proof, which is a big part of our geometry course. Next, let's talk about planning. If you have multiple kids in school, sometimes you can coordinate what they're learning. For example, seventh grade life science lines up really well with 10th grade biology. Same goes for world studies and world history. It's easy to switch around some of the high school subjects, so you could make those courses line up. Then you could plan family field trips, activities, documentaries, even read alouds that will enhance what everyone is learning. And everyone can be on the same page, maybe at different levels, but everyone can take part in the discussion together. Or you can compare what each child will learn in English and teach everyone at once on different levels. Go over nouns with everyone. Your younger children may learn a thing or two early, and your older children will nail down the basics. Then each of them will have differentiated practice at his own level in his own workbook. A third reason you may want to use the scope and sequence is for your portfolio. 
You can keep track of which editions your child used, as well as all the topics studied. This could be handy for parents who have to report to their states. I like to write a one-page course description for each of my son's high school courses. The scope and sequence can help me write a summary paragraph about what was covered in each course. And finally, the scope and sequence can help if your state requires certain topics. Health is a good example. Health topics are spread out throughout our science courses. Science 1 lists care for the human body. Science 4 lists nutrition. Life science talks about a lot of things like puberty, nutrition, drugs, addiction, and disease. The scope and sequence can help you spot those topics so that you can meet your state requirements. And there we go. The scope and sequence can help you with placement, planning, and portfolio. If you want even more information about our courses or advice, contact your Homeworks by Precept consultant. If you don't have one, you can choose any consultant at www.homeschoolhelp.com forward slash map. Any one of us would be glad to help you. We also offer curriculum displays where you can come and look through the books. Admission is free and it's free to work with a consultant. So go ahead, check out the map and we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.